everybody, it's Alejandra here, and I am actually filming outside today, so we are definitely going to get some better lighting. Um, it's been really gloomy all morning, but we are finally starting to get a little sunshine up in this bitch, and I just wanted to start off by saying thank you so much for fucking watching my videos, and not only that, welcome if you are new, and thanks for coming back if you are a subscriber. Now that we're talking about subscribing, go ahead and press the little subscribe button because uh, you know that you want to. And don't forget, if you feel like you just have to leave a comment or like, you know, don't feel like you can't. So go ahead and feel free to do that. Um, today we are going to talk about my third month update. I am a little bit overdue, like usual, you know, always procrastinating, always waiting to the last minute. But I'm here, I'm ready, and it's only been like a little bit less than a week, a little bit more than a week maybe, um, into the month, so the third month. But um, yeah, I don't really feel like I have noticed too, too many differences in comparison to the last two months. But I mean, we have seen a little bit, or I have seen a little bit more improvement. Um, if you can just tell right away maybe that I am starting to um, get less muscle definition. Um, that's for sure. Like, that's, like, one thing. Um, obviously, um, breast growth, you know, I'm starting to see a little something. Um, we definitely are starting to get a little bit more, um, breast tissue growing. And, um, yeah, you know, the usual, nothing, um, you know, crazy. But, um, yeah, so let's just get those out of the way. I definitely want to add that I am noticing that my body shape is starting to definitely start feminizing. I am noticing a little bit more of a smaller waist and a little bit more hips. Um, like I said, I do definitely notice like up in the upper body that I am starting to smooth out all throughout. whether or not you guys feel like you guys notice anything different um that would be really cool because for me i look at myself all the time and i just really want to know whether or not that is the case yeah i'm just trying to really think about anything else that i really want to add in there because i don't want to make this one so freaking long that you guys don't even really watch it so yes but i just been super super tired lately and i don't know if it's just because it's been a really busy month but um i just got back from vegas as well i want to say maybe about a week ago um because i got my shot the day after i got back and i think it was on the 18th so um yeah i've been super hectic and busy i think i've been more busy than when i am actually working because i feel like i mean not that i'm not working i just feel like i'm constantly hustling because i'm a fucking female version of a hustler. I'm a fucking diva bitch. And anytime I, you know, like, nothing really comes out. It's like dry now. It's like, and if there is anything, it's like so little and it's like not as like, I want to say concentrated maybe because it's a lot clearer. It almost looks like pre-cum. So, um, yeah, that's like one thing that I've noticed. I definitely have grown an appetite and I don't know if it's just because I'm I'm constantly, you know, hungry because I'm vegan, but I think it's not even so much that I'm constantly hungry because I eat all the time anyways, but I think it's more so just my cravings. Um, I have definitely have had a sweet tooth in the past, but I feel like everything is just times like a thousand. Um, same with my emotions, like all of that, like just kind of feels like emphasized. Uh, yeah, I definitely... Um, notice that most of my emotional ups and downs are due to either like boys and stuff like that it just really hit me when i was in vegas um just this whole dating situation um i tend to download dating apps and then delete them because i'm like why the fuck am i even on this you know like i feel like if i'm gonna meet somebody it's gonna be in person and i feel like it's gonna be organic it's gonna be natural and it's gonna be something that i just know that you know it's real um but a lot of these um dating websites um these people have the 
maybe not the right intentions and for me I definitely feel that I'm more of a serious type of person and I'm like looking for something a little bit more serious and I think that I'm maybe giving off the wrong impression by being on these websites I don't know um but yeah definitely I mean if I do tend to um end up talking to somebody it's usually really annoying because it's either sexual or if not like nothing ever comes out of it I don't know just really annoying and it's just almost like disappointing in a way but I know that I have hope and I know that I have faith that I will find somebody and I need to stop focusing so much on that because that's not what's important you know like I have so many things sorry that was my dog I have so many things that I am so busy and occupied with lately that I just should not be letting that get to me also while I was in Vegas I had never in my life had been um, referred to as ma'am miss ladies you know all of those um, female um, pronouns and um, it was really nice because I'm like fuck this is actually like I'm convincing which I mean in the transgender community we have this thing and it's you know called passing and whether or not you pass or not does not really make you any more or less trans. Um, if anything, I definitely feel that um, we all have to represent ourselves as, you know, as, as best as we feel we can and as comfortable as we can. And I think it's about feeling comfortable in your skin and not so much whether or not you pass or not. Because you know what? There's women who have masculine features or have masculine you know, characteristics that typically wouldn't be the female, you know, um, norm, but no matter what, like, you know, we have to be comfortable in our own skin, and I really don't agree with the word passing, because you know what, like, it's not about passing, it's about being happy, and I think that's the most important part, and then that's where I think a lot of people, um, get a lot of problems when they tend to transition is they feel like they have to fit this like stereotype of what a transgender person has to be but really we just have to be comfortable in our own skin you guys come on like but I am just so excited because these months are just flying by and I'm just noticing so many changes and everybody around me is definitely noticing as well I definitely feel like I'm getting a lot more comfortable in my own skin and I don't know if you guys can tell but I definitely feel it I mean even just talking right here in front of the camera I definitely feel a lot more fluidity and I normally feel like I tend to get stuck um, but I just want to let everybody know also that I'm super excited because this bad boy right here gonna be gone soon so I have my pre-op appointment on the 28th of this month um, which is in a couple days and then I will be getting my surgery September 8th so wish me luck I'm super nervous I've never had anything like this um, I know it's a lot more serious than you know just getting mm, I don't know stitches or something like that but that's probably as as you know intense as um, of an experience as I've had. I just never really have like hurt myself or harmed myself or you know ever gotten anything done um, surgically but yeah I'm so excited. I think the most nerve-wracking part is going under and just like um, waking up and being in pain but I'm sure they'll give me some medication um, so that I can you know um, be a lot more comfortable but it's just the idea. I don't know. Just so crazy. But I'm so excited and I'm so happy. And it's just really nice because, you know what, like, out of all my brothers, like, I just happen to have, like, the most intense one. Which is fine because, you know what, I'm the toughest one. So it doesn't matter. Um, well, I'm not even a brother anymore, so. But I could be if you want me to. So when I got back from Vegas, I went out with some girlfriends and I ran into some old acquaintances. And they weren't necessarily, like super close friends but I knew them throughout high school and they were guys and they were cute guys too but anyways besides the point they told me that I look really different and they could not figure it out and I was like well you know well you see and I just had to break it to them and they were like I don't understand it but I respect it and I was like well that's that's fine because you don't need to understand but you do need to respect so I was just really thankful that they were respectful of me and it's just really funny because in this little small town of Temecula um, it's super conservative it is a very Trump you know and um, I mean I never had really any issues because I was always just so out there and I did not give a fuck but yeah it was really cool to go out 
somewhere where I hadn't been in a while. It's just really funny too because I just have gotten so used to LA and um, the people out here and I just go over there and I'm like, wow, people are so, first of all, they're basic. Get some style, everybody. And not only that, but like everyone is like, I don't know, just weird vibes. Don't even want to talk bad. I love it there. It's cute. It's very family, but um, yeah, it's not a place for me, and it was just really nice to um, get that attention. I'm very natural. I love, you know, being able to present myself, or like when I wear makeup or something, like, I just don't want them to really feel like, for example, my mom, she never, ever, ever wears makeup, really. And if she does, it's, like, super noticeable because she never does wear it. So a lot of her friends always compliment her and, like, joke about it. But, um, yeah, I just really don't want to be that person that is constantly has a face on. And then when they see them without makeup or something, they're like, whoa, what's up, you know? But I do want to be that bitch that when they do put the makeup on, they're like, damn, who that? And I can be like... But yes, I am on my way to being complete and I'm so happy and I just cannot wait for these next couple months. They just moved up my dose a little bit more so I will definitely be video t uh, videotaping and documenting everything because I might be feeling a little bit more different. I was... Um, taking a little lower dose and the higher they go um, obviously the more effects and the more symptoms you're gonna feel so like I said don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you guys so so much for watching I am so thankful that I have you guys because I feel like this is kind of therapy I'm like word vomiting all up on you guys and you guys are just taking it and I'm just like yeah take it take it and I'm just kidding oh wow come on dog don't ruin it for me I will catch you guys on my next video. Hopefully it's not um, another fucking um, video on a month, uh, hormone update. Um, I definitely have been super busy and I know I've been saying that I want to make a video on something. Um, but I really want to do something like either makeup related or maybe what's in my closet or maybe what I eat in the day because I am vegan. And I think that is a really great um, lifestyle that a, a lot of people should adopt because it does really reduce a lot of risks of... Um, anything health related and not only that I think it really makes a mental difference in your head you think a lot clearer you think a lot more um, you think a lot more clearer and you feel a lot more pure so I definitely want to start doing something along the lines of food fashion and makeup and just all of that maybe just a lifestyle beauty kind of blog thing but yes I'm super excited and it is so nice to um, have you guys here